With two hit shows currently running on the Great White Way and preparing to launch national tours later this year, Hello Dolly and a Bronx Tale director Jerry Zaks is one of Broadway's most sought after, successful, and gracious talents. I recently sat down with the four-time Tony Award winner to talk about Hello Dolly's enormous appeal, what he enjoys most about helming big Broadway musicals, and why theatergoers across the country will be thanking their lucky stars. Mr. Jerry Zachs, Hello. thank you so much for coming in today and chatting with me. I'm so excited to talk to you. Hello, Dolly, the show everyone is talking about. Tell me, when, what was your first experience with Hello, Dolly? Oh, yeah, my, well, I was about 20 years old, which is now over 50 years ago. Okay. I had just fallen in love with acting in college and uh, in grad school, went to grad school and uh, decided to come into New York to see a musical mm -hmm. and stood at the back of the St. James Theater because that's all I could afford was standing room. Right. <laughs> and something happened to me that is impossible to describe, but it was a kind of ecstatic experience. Mm -hmm. I was so filled with happiness and I laughed so hard and I found myself crying at the end of the show with happiness. Yeah. And now, that didn't happen too often to me when I was 20. It happens a lot now. But <laughs> right. uh, but I, I was just knocked out by it. And so I went back again to see, uh, I originally saw Carol Channing and then I went back to see Pearl Bailey and then I went back again to see Ginger Rogers. Okay. Each time I stood in the back just like that and fell in love with what was happening on the stage. It's a huge hit and it's mm -hmm. won Tonys and it's going on tour. What do you attribute that dedication to it now with audiences like they I mean people are just in love with it where do you think that comes from it comes from their experience the tonic effect that the show has had on people is astonishing I've gotten letters from people yeah. who have come to see it who've been dealing with loss or uh, some sort of uh, uh, pain and they've been astonished by how much better they have felt for having had the experience of seeing the show makes people feel good. You yeah, know? it absolutely does. And uh, that's all I want. Yeah. I just <laughs> Is there a moment, I mean, you've now probably seen the show more times than mm. any other human on this planet. <laughs> Is there a part of it that still gives you goosebumps? Yes, that still of course, of course. You know, when he sings, out there, there's a world outside of mm -hmm. Yonkers. It's like, I want to get out. Yeah. The guy is singing about, yes. Yeah. And, it, and the number just builds mm -hmm. and builds and builds. And you can feel the audience just... All leaning mm -hmm. in. Yes, yeah, just thrilled beyond <laughs> right. words. And finding themselves in tears and not understanding why they're crying, you know? Mm -hmm. It's a testament to the power of the material yeah. that, you know, Jerry Herman wrote and that Michael Stewart wrote based on the Thornton Wilder and, and ultimately also the Gower champion who, you know. Right, I mean, created the version that oh, you, yeah. Yes, that I fell in love with. And right. so we have, we have kept elements of what Gower did. We've added new things. I've changed some things. Yeah. I've tried to make some things funnier, mm -hmm. you know. And you yeah. have the incredible Bernadette Peters. You've got <laughs> Victor Garber. Yeah. You have Charlie Stemp, who is yes. just wowing everybody. Yes. What is it like to have these, these new cast members in this show bringing a new energy to it? Well, it's thrilling. You know, uh, at first it's like, okay, we have to go back into rehearsal, mm -hmm. and we have to rehearse this as though we were doing it for the first time. Right. And it would be the only way to treat special people like Bernadette and Victor and Charlie mm -hmm. and Molly, who has come in for Mini Faye, with the res well, with the respect that they deserve. But also, it's real simple, Ryan. I take immense pride in helping actors give the best performances of their lives. Yeah, it's real important and I know how to do that. You have this knack for mining, you know, sentiment out of places that you might have not found it before, or humor out of places that you wouldn't find it before. There's just, is it, is it just a gift, or is it something I, that you've worked on? I've worked on it. You know, I, look, I always, I love, loved comedy, but I love watching a show. I love trying to figure out why something is not working, mm -hmm. and trying to figure out the solution. And it's great, because in the theater, you have the luxury of being able to come back the next day and make it better, as opposed to film where, you know, you rehearse, it's you tech, <laughs> you shoot, <laughs> you open, and you close, and you're done with that scene. Right. And you, that makes me crazy. Uh, just yesterday, I, I went back to Bernadette and Victor, the both of them at certain moments, 
ring the cash register. They ring the cash register and they both go, oh, I love that sound, you know? But both of them were standing behind the cash register and so it was not working because mm. we could not see them. So it's very simple. I say, come move to your right, get out from behind the cash register, do the same thing you're doing, only reach for it this way rather than this way, right. and it will get a bigger laugh. So it's always, always in service oh. to that audience that you're always thinking. Yes, yeah. which is why I stand in the back. Mm -hmm. I love to have the audience between myself and the stage because you can hear, you can feel when the audience is listening, right. when they're being polite, when they're being driven crazy, <laughs> when they're surprised, you know? Yeah. And I just love doing that. Right. And now you have Hello Dolly hitting the road later yes. this year. Yes. You have Betty Buckley starring yes. as, as Dolly. How, why are you excited for audiences all across this country to be able to see this production? Because it's going to do to audiences all over the country what it's been doing to the audiences in New York. Mm -hmm. You know, people are people. They're the same all over the world, you know? And the values in this show are timeless. It's about people trying to connect, people struggling to connect, people struggling to avoid connecting, you know, people pretending they don't need to be with another person. I want the audience to become the third character with them uh, on stage. I want them to care about these people. And there's no reason that our tour, starting, starring the great Betty Buckley, uh, should do anything but you know, elicit the same responses around the country as it has been in New York. Why do you think Betty Buckley is a great choice? She's for a Dolly? queen. Uh, she's a wonderful queen. Well, she just she's got one of the greatest voices ever. Uh, yet you know, and I don't know that uh, there are people who don't know that about Betty uh, because she's been doing films and television. And she's got a great presence, you know. And when she sings, it's so nice to be back home where I belong. You know, coming back. Everyone is going to cheer because she's back on stage, you know, and it's, it's cause for rejoicing, you know. Um, she's a big talent, and I think Dolly has to be a big talent. I think it's, you know, it's one of the great roles ever for a woman in the musical theater, that's for sure, and it needs a great actress. If you could, if you could come up with one reaction that you ideally would have all audiences that come to your shows to leave the theater thinking about, feeling, what's your ideal audience response to a show that you, you put up? <laughs> That's a good question, <laughs> man. Uh, I want them to laugh. I want them to laugh. And just when they think they're going to laugh again, I want them to not laugh. And I want them to get verklempt. Yeah. I want them to be touched. Mm -hmm. And I, and I want to surprise them with that. Heart in the throat, kind of. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Right? I la they laugh, they fall in love with the characters, they laugh, they fall even more in love with the characters, they laugh, and then when something happens to the characters that doesn't elicit a laugh, I want them to care so much about the characters that they are profoundly happy, the audience, when, the ca when things work out mm -hmm. for the characters. Thank you so much Thanks, for chatting buddy. with me, and make sure you go see Hello, Dolly! at the Schubert Theater here on Broadway.